Hello everybody, Bassless Fang here, and welcome to my new playthrough that I'm doing on Wednesdays now that I've finished Borderlands, and that is Life is Strange. Now, a little bit of backstory about this game. Um, I bought this game quite a while ago. It was probably... It might have been the Steam Winter Sale or something. I'm not sure when I got it. It was during... It was on sale when I got it. And I had heard of it... Didn't know much about it, but I knew it was highly rated, so I just went ahead and uh, picked it up. And um, the, this and all the DLC were all you know, bundled together for a pretty good price. And I just didn't play it. But at the same day, that like same day, I told my friend, Hey, this game is on sale, I know it's really good, and I know you like good games, so pick it up. He also got it and didn't play it. Well, he recently played it, and he was just blown away by it, and I was like, you know, I, I plan on doing that game pretty soon, so don't give anything away, because I know it's one of those games where if you give things away, it's going to ruin the entire game for me. So he's like, I won't ruin it for you, but dude, you got to play this. So that's what I am doing now that I'm finally finished with Borderlands. Um, for those of you that have never played Life is Strange or heard of Life is Strange, I will tell you what I do know about it. Life is Strange is an indie game. It's published by a big company. It's published by Square Enix, as you saw in the titles, but it's made by an, like, I consider them an independent game company. And, um, I don't know what to say about it, really. It's, it's one of those games that is highly, uh, choice-based is the word I'm looking for. That's what I was looking for. If you've ever heard of games or seen games, like Heavy Rain was, like, the first one I could ever think of being made. Uh, I'm sure there might have been more before that, but Heavy Rain was a really big one. And then, uh, inspired by Heavy Rain was um, Until Dawn, which was another really big one that just recently came out, that are choice-based story games. And that's basically what this is, and that's basically all I know about it. I don't know any really other details, so I'm going to play it. I'm going to be just as shocked as anybody who has played this for the first time. Um, if you've played it before and you just want to see how I do at it, welcome, and if you've never heard of this before, you're in for the same trip I am, so. Press any button to start. I'm pretty sure it's going to make me go through a setup, so I'll either skip that or I'll just have you bear with me, so. That's the correct screen size, it looks like, and we will do save game one, and... I am going to check the options real quick, just to make sure everything is set up right. So give me a second. All right, so that's I think as good as it's gonna get for now. We'll learn as we go, I guess. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in with a new game. Life is Strange is a story based on a game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. That's interesting. Your choices will affect the past as well. Ooh. Stormy. Ba-boom. This is an ominous start to the game. You should probably get up, it's raining. Yoo-hoo! Gonna get up anytime soon? You really should get home. Where am I? What's happening? I don't know. I just came here. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? I sh I don't know. Get your life together. Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. All right, am I gonna get a please let me make it there. A sort of tutorial for what I'm doing here. All right, so mouse lets me look around. WASD is letting me move. All right, I will need to sort of figure out if keyboard or controller works best for me. Or if I can even, I don't have an Xbox controller, so if it requires an Xbox controller, I'm either going to have to try and hack it, or uh, just not use a controller. Although I am pretty good at hacking Xbox controllers, so that's uh, pretty good. What do we have over here? Blackwell, 
Academy 1910. I don't know, this doesn't seem like 1910 clothing to me, so... Yeah. Or is that when it was founded? Because that would make a little more sense. Some trees. Ooh, a bench. Holy hell, what is that? Oh, shit! So there's apparently been this massive tornado here this entire time that I didn't even notice. <laughs> well, if I can't pay attention to detail like Holy that... Shit. Yeah, that's my reaction exactly. If I can't pay attention to detail like that, I am not going to do well at this game. Oh, that's not good. Whoa. You should probably get out of there. Whoa. That was so surreal. Oh, okay. It's Little just a, pieces of time. Just a dream. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, that was mean. can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There uh, you go. Apparently, Victoria. I need to. Why Arbus? To look. Because of her at images that. of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of the I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on, give me a second. She saw humanity as ah. Look at ah, this. Ah, okay. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I like it. Then I don't even like art. And I like it. Should right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. What, what, do we, what do we have here? What do we... we... Seriously, though. I could so we have, any one of we have our journal. And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I'm just listening to the teacher here for a second. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I agree. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I don't know. October, my favorite month. This game might be kind of slow paced, so you have to bear with me as I like try to pay attention to some of the details. I really want to appreciate this game for what it has. So, October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate, let me soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I, I enjoy Ray Bradbury's work. He's a good uh, science fiction writer. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of, of Battle Royale. <laughs> um, Battle Royale is arguably what The Hunger Games was stolen from. I doubt she was trying to steal the concept of The Hunger Games, but uh, Battle Royale was written before the Hunger Games, and it consists of the same themes, so, but nobody knows Battle Royale, and everybody knows Hunger Games, so whatever, um, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns, the last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe, I have pictures in one of my old albums, I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling, it's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party, or is that backstroke fest? <laughs> you so pun you so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks at Blackwell Academy. As my parents live telling me on a loop, you'll have all the time in the world. Holy hell, how, how much is this? I'm going to read it, but, like, bear with me here. So is this... So we have October... July, August, is this in any particular order? Hold on. There's no date on this one. Let's see. Okay, so this must be where we sort of store all of our, uh, so, Damn, I'm just like, so far, I, I haven't even done anything and I am blown away by what I am looking at with this detail and this artwork. I mean, look at look at my mouse cursor. It's like an animated sketch of a mouse cursor, and I love that. Damn, okay. <laughs> uh, so here's our uh, character here. My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens, lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but at a safe distance. 
For some reason, I always dawn on I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. That's all that their that school does is 12th grade seniors. How do they stay afloat? On a scholarship even. Now that's impressive. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years, and it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with a retro camera at my side. Say cheese. That's cute. Uh, who we have? So... So it's our teacher. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher. There we go. And one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell, how often do I get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of this incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in his Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win. I'd like to think my work would be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. Who do we have here? I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other student, even though the other students, I can't read today, uh, make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. I know Dem feels. Uh, let's see. And so Victoria's the last one, okay. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that, I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18-year-olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she, she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she, can, she can't buy or seduce. Ha! <laughs> wow, the details of this game. Okay, so we're in episode one. I have all the episodes, and we're in episode one. What does this do? Okay, so this is like a map to Red Blackwell. Okay, okay. We have text messages. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Is this... Okay, if we're assuming that now is October, this was set in September... So, our heroine here is born uh, September 21st. So, everybody out there who was born September 21st, that's that's for you. And Kate. Oh, damn, okay. Hey, Max, you around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. TTYL, and that was on September 25th. Happy birthday, Maxine! We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Who's Warren? Okay. 
Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please? Make sure you can check out mm, N-E-K-R Romantic on my flash drive. Mwahahahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. <laughs> Wait, I have to study for physics tests, so if we bust anything, we'll have to also measure its velocity. Uh, don't ignore this message. It looks like I've been ignoring all of them. But these are October 2nd, 3rd, and uh, 5th. So I don't respond, but he texts a lot in a row. So we've got 1.14 p.m. for those. Uh, that's just the ones, so that's okay. And then these were all sent within seconds of each other, so... What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their... Did I see everything in there? Hold on. She had a brilliant eye. Hi there. So she could have taken another... I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. I noticed. Fan of her work. You know what, just for the sake of detail, I'm going to go back and if read her old... If looked at this, what would they think? You said that already. We're going to look at some of the old... Uh, Journal entries you, she's got in here. Well, how many does she have? Oh, it's on a loop. I was going to say, well, that's a lot, but it's on a loop. So, um. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read them. I, it's the first episode. You're going to have to bear with me on this one. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. I don't think I could be so excited. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I used to live in the same town, but cause it's, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Black Hole Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I could read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried, my dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy, and this is and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best... Out of all the best photography programmers in the world, programs in the world, I cannot read. I choose to go to the smallest back in a town I was so excited about, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. The city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure where we were always seeking with coffee, with coffee shops. <laughs> Ah, but Seattle wasn't like a fable. Ah, contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson? Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of adventure. Of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited I'm clearing out of my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. They made me want to cry like a good little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I... Thinking about that, thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before the first day at Blackwell. Whew. I hadn't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I didn't meet some of 
I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. Though it would be easier it would be easier being back. Uh call the Wambulance. Uh, I don't want to, this day to end all. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and the brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to, to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as a kind of know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. I'll, I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. I can tell you, going to college doesn't change. At least, I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to, do, expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. OMG, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so... Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday, during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite Vortex Club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. And in one of my classes. <laughs> She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and your outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more! Finally, had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. A sigh. I don't, I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit to, or even understand it. Good thing I, I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in the class. Ms. Grant is much cooler within the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying... Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? 
October, my favorite month. Okay, here we are. We're back. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of reading. This is going to be a long-ass episode because of all this, like, reading. But it's I feel it's important. I'm probably going to keep it in because I feel a lot of this is important to the background and to understand this character and the other characters. And damn, this game so far, I haven't even, like, played it. And just reading this, i like, oh, wow. It reminds me of being a moody teenager. Now I'm just a moody 20-something. <laughs> Robert Frank. Ah, let's see. Me too, um, he captured the essence. I should weird. take a picture to prove I'm still here. Take a selfie. About the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, jeez. Oh shit. Um Uh My first choice. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh uh I feel like this is kind of lippy and I don't want to give him lip. So I I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Bitch. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Darn. The first American Daguerreotype self-portrait. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. <laughs> I still have my old pencil case. I am literally. Oh shit. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Welcome to high school. All right, so I get to do some moving around. Uh, I was going to say... um. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Nope, she doesn't. Um, I am still literally using the pencil case I had in elementary school, so. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive. I'm not gonna. Everything. I don't know if I should use it. I'm actually kind of. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Let's take a photo of it. I feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the Yay! We took a photo. I only want to share hey, hey, Kate. Kate. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oof. Dear Kate. We love your porn video. XOXO, Blackwell Academy. Oof. Is that... Okay, so yeah, I already read that. Okay. That's, uh... Oof. You having some, uh... Some troubles there, Kate? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I can't tell if that was sarcasm or not, because... Yeah. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to make this first episode a little bit long, I think. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to talk to Kate in a second. I'm just looking around. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Awesome. Pop Vine is grunge dead, featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson. Ten reasons to get electronic mail. All right. Um, so, uh, Kate, you you wanna? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. 
I'm going to relate to these people because of how well they've portrayed sort of like the high school atmosphere, but I'm also not going to relate because I feel like a lot of the characters in here are going to be young women, and I was never a young woman, so... <laughs> hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I... Uh, you seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Want to grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. You no sure? Worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Alright. You say so. Um, anything else around here? This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. <laughs> oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. God damn, this bitch is... This bitch is, uh... I mean that in a good way. Max here is hardcore geeking out. So cool that we can check these out anytime. Awesome. The Decisive Let's... Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Hot damn. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. I find it interesting that they sort of have these painted pictures instead of like actual photographs. It's it's interesting to me. I wonder what the artistic reason behind that is. If there even is one. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Apparently. We were just dreaming about that shit. Um, I hope you don't mind that I'm uh, behind your desk. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. I guess not. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Well, she probably is. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Well, let's change that. Speak to him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not going to make excuses. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. All right, that's uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Did I see everything in here. I don't want to miss anything. Um, so yeah, I I'm going to do commentary. I just don't want to do it while they're speaking because I feel like what they say is important. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. I don't know why you'd be infamous, but that's due October 9th, so you better get. Crack a lackin. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Oh yeah. Huh. Then I might send you a special picture and try to bring in the phone. Decent crowd out here. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Oh shit. Main titles. Damn. We already did titles at the beginning, and here we are doing them again. Alright, alright. I am ready for this. Life is Strange Episode 1 Chrysalis. Alright. I hope this song isn't copyrighted. 
Well, I am going to end this episode here because I think it's a good place to end it and it was kind of long and I don't want it to be too much longer. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm really excited for this. So much so, I'm actually going to record the second episode right now and kind of do that because <laughs> I'm ready to get into this. It won't be released till next week. You're going to do one episode a week. And... Um, yeah, I can't even like put together some thoughts because I'm just so blown away by this game. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a complete playthrough of this game. Um, Everybody looks happy just. Oh shit! Shh, I'm talking. I'm talking. Shh, shh. Look at the lockers. Just look at the lockers. Um, <laughs> and uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video. Check out the comments below. Leave me a comment. I really like hearing from you guys. Um, make sure you check the Facebook and the Twitter. You can find links for those in the description below. Make sure you check out other videos that I've done. And I will see you all next time. I am super excited. Bye-bye.